You know, not everyone wanted me to get a manual. A lot of people said I was crazy, I was stupid, and gave me a lot of crap for it, to be honest. Today I'm here to answer a very, very important question that I've been getting quite a bit in my Instagram DMs from guys that are interested in picking up their Mustang GT and they're kind of confused between getting an automatic or a manual. Now I know a lot of you guys have your own opinion as to what you like better and which one is the one for you, but for all of you guys that are kind of confused and not sure of which car you want to get, I figured I would make this video and help you out a little bit, give you my two cents on the ownership of my 2019 Mustang GT and manual and tell you how it's been owning an automatic as well. So let's go ahead and get into the video, let me pull out the Mustang, we'll go for a nice drive and we'll talk all about it. Here we go. Before we go anywhere though, we do have to do a cold start on the Mustang. This does have the Corsa Extreme catback system with the uh, kind of black chrome tips on it. Looks really good. Let's go ahead and start her up, see how she sounds. Ooh, the baby is out. What a beautiful day it is. Alrighty, let's take a drive. Alright guys, I'm going to let the car warm up a little bit before we start ripping it. Alright boys, before we do anything, we got to do a nice little tunnel rip for you guys. talk about why you should get a manual and why you should get an automatic with the windows up so it's a little quieter in here so it really comes down to your desired outcome with the car so if you're getting a Mustang and you're getting it for the sole reason of going to the track and I mean the drag strip and just running the fastest time without a doubt don't even look at the manual just go straight for the automatic there's no way you're gonna be able to beat that speed, that advantage that the automatic gives you. You might run something, you know, decent once you upgrade the power, but that benefit of having the 10 speed is just crazy on the track. And, you know, we've seen it. Uh, anybody that follows, you know, drag strip times like that, you're in tune with what people are running on the track, you know that it's just, you know, that 10 speed is a killer. You know, it's a killer and they have done a really good job. Now, if you're someone like myself, who bought the car more for personal enjoyment more than anything. You know, I bought this car because I don't race every day. I don't, not out there ripping it down the track every day because there's not a lot of tracks around me. That's just not my thing. My thing is I like to take this car out and go cruise the canyons, cruise the beach, uh, enjoy it, maybe do a few runs here and there just for fun. And that's all it is really, you know? It's like a weekend toy and I have other cars that I can use when I don't want to drive it. So it's not a big issue the fact that it's manual so for me it does that purpose you know great like it's just so much more fun to jump in this car on the weekends and rip gears than it is to jump in an automatic and there's no way I would get the same satisfaction so for that reason you know for me the manual just works and if that's what you want you want a car that you can just get in it feel connected relieve some stress you know throw around a few gears and you know have some fun Without further ado, look into a manual. You're really gonna enjoy it. And the fact that there's really not too many of them on the road nowadays, it's just that much more special, you know? It's just a nice feeling when you jump in your car, you rip a few gears, and it puts a smile on your face. You get to hear your exhaust, because ripping a car with 
you know, if you had a manual in a car that doesn't have much power, it's not as much fun. But the fact that this car has a lot of power and it has the torque and it feels good, you know, it feels good. Um, pretty much every gear has power in it. So you're never really feeling like it's struggling or anything like that, you know. The car is ready to go in just about any gear, you know. I can be in sixth gear right now and the car will keep moving, it'll keep pulling forward, no problem. So, you know, that's really kind of my answer to it. I would drive both cars, try them both out, and see which car works better for your needs. If you're gonna daily drive it, go for the automatic. If you're gonna have an extra car that you can use and you're not obligated to use the car every single day of the week, then look into the manual. If you have a lot of tracks and you like to do a lot of track time, you know, I'm talking about like circuit, like an actual track, not like a drag strip, I would go for the manual. I think it'll be a lot more fun to rip a manual on the track than it would be an automatic. And, you know, Canyon Roads, without further there, or even thinking about it, definitely, hands down, a manual just gives you so much more control over the car than automatic, and it's so much more fun. So, you know, that's kind of my two cents. I know it, it kind of summed it up in a little, in a, in a quick way for you guys, but that's how I would answer the question. And, you know, that's why I have the SR10 in an automatic, and I have the Mustang in a manual. The Mustang is a car that I knew it was going to be kind of like, little garage queen the car that was gonna be for me to just take out and enjoy whenever I want to and believe me when I say this I find a lot of excuses to take this car out it's just one of those cars where I want to drive it more and more each and every day so we're approaching a Camaro right now Let's see if we can get a quick run in The new Camaro, it's a 2019. Does he want the smoke or not? You guys tell me. He's back there. <laughs> I don't think he wants it. Come on, Camaro. But, anyways. Camaro is being lame but anyways that's kind of my little reasoning behind getting a manual why I enjoy it why I like it yeah I think now he wants to smoke hang on it's a new one too it's brand new bit of bird balls and stuff like that. I'm honestly, not, if he has automatic, you would probably get me. Alright guys, so I hope this video gave you a little bit of insight, maybe a little bit of an answer or helped clear things up for you. Of course, you know, the decision ultimately goes back to you guys, whoever's shopping around, I totally recommend just try out both cars, see which one you like better, which one you feel more comfortable in, um, and just go for that, you know, go with your gut instinct, and that's kind of what I did. It was a big, big risk getting a uh, manual, you know, not everyone wanted me to get a manual. A lot of people said I was crazy, I was stupid, and gave me a lot of crap for it, to be honest, because it just wasn't the popular thing to do. You know, in 2019, the popular thing to do is to get an automatic. But that's not what I wanted. And I didn't enjoy the automatic as much. I'll be honest. You know, there are times where I do regret getting my SRT in an automatic. And I feel like if I got it in a manual, I may have enjoyed it more or have, you know, not got bored of it as quickly. Because, you know, you accelerate a couple times and it eventually becomes kind of just expect it. The car performs the same every single time. It's a lot more consistent. Um, versus a manual, you're just, it more depends on you more than anything. You know, if you're shifting well, you're doing your job, you're gonna go fast. If not, then, you know, you gotta practice and work on it. So every drive is just different. Every scenario is different. There's always like things you can learn. And that's, to me, that's what keeps it interesting. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, and you agree with what I'm saying, slap a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. My name is Rush, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.